Hi there, students. To capitulate. Capitulate, a verb. Capitulation, a noun, I think. Mm, countable and uncountable. OK, let's see. To capitulate, to surrender. Uh, to surrender with certain conditions. So... The town had been sieged by the enemy for many days and finally the defenders capitulated. They gave up. Yeah, in the past this word to capitulate used to mean to ask for terms of surrender, to agree on the terms of surrender. So um, the garrison capitulated after a after many days of attack but we use this much more metaphorically nowadays meaning to stop resisting to acquiesce um to agree to do something or to accept something unwillingly um the prime minister <laughs> refused to resign but eventually under growing uh, pressure he capitulated the government was under growing public public pressure to um revoke this piece of legislation and finally they capitulated yeah to cease to resist yeah um to resi cease to uh refuse an unwelcome demand to yield to okay so you capitulate you stop resisting and you do what someone else want, wants you to do um the, yeah, um, I asked my dad to lend me his car and he said no, but I kept badgering him and pestering him and finally he capitulated, he yielded, he gave in, he said yes, he caved in, yeah, okay, and this is the idea of to capitulate, to surrender, to give up or surrender to an enemy on prearranged conditions or to stop resisting yeah um to stop fighting against something and say okay that's enough i lose yeah is to throw in the towel when you throw in the towel you capitulate um i i uh I asked, I asked him to help me and I asked him again and again, but he kept saying no. But finally, he capitulated. He conceded. He gave in. He complied. Yeah. Um, the club was under increasing pressure to let women become members. And finally, they capitulated. They caved in. They relented. Yeah. They said, OK, they buckled, if you like. So to capitulate. So you capitulate to an enemy or you capitulate in a competition. You resign or you capitulate uh, to a demand or something something like that okay so to cease resistance yeah notice as well in the, in the past you could also use this verb to capitulate meaning to put into chapters so he had finished the book but he then needed to capitulate it to make it into chapters but i think this um usage is is no longer valid i think it's just a bit too old fashioned okay so keep surrender keep uh, uh, resisting don't capitulate yeah don't give up yeah um the um uh, my bosses were uh on at me all the time to work over the weekend but I refuse to capitulate if I capitulate over that I'll be working all day every day yeah capitulation over that matter would uh, just lead to worse things so to capitulate formality um, well to yield to give in I would give it a 6.5 in formality um, I guess you could just about use it in an informal conversation, although I might use to give in, to give up, to surrender, something like that. Um, 
semi-formal conversation, semi-formal writing, definitely. Okay, and then um, as to origin, it comes from Latin capitulum, which is um, uh, a heading or a chapter. Yeah, from caput, meaning the head. Yeah, so I think it has to do with the uh, signing of a peace treaty or the, si or the signing of a surrender where you have different articles or different conditions about the surrender. And I think that's the idea. Yeah, um, yeah, you can scream and scream and scream until you're blue in the face, but I'm not going to capitulate. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to say yes. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Capitulate.